Greetings, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to make milk chocolate buttercream frosting. You're going to need one pound of milk chocolate, you're gonna need half a pound of bittersweet or semi-sweet chocolate, and 12 ounces of butter. That should be at room temperature. It should not be cold out of the refrigerator. First thing to do with our milk chocolate buttercream is to melt our chocolate. We're gonna melt it in the classic device called a bain-marie, which is, means water bath in French, which basically means we're gonna take this bowl, we're gonna set it over a pot of simmering water, and we're gonna to start to melt our chocolate. So we're gonna take our chocolate, one pound of our milk, half a pound of our bittersweet, and put it over our pot of simmering water. Okay. You can see right over here that we have a little bit of bubbling. That's gonna go right onto the pot, and we're gonna let it melt away. Really important that the water that's inside the pot not touch the bowl, okay? If the water winds up touching the bowl, then it's gonna possibly burn the chocolate. One of the beautiful things about making buttercream is that you can actually make it ahead of time. You can make it in, in advance. The buttercream, once we finish the product, can actually go into a, um, a Ziploc container or a deli cup with a lid, and you can actually keep it in the refrigerator for several months. I can actually take it off the heat at this point, just give it a little stir. We're ready to go ahead and proceed with our next step of our buttercream, and that's going to involve the mixing machine with a flat beater or a paddle attachment. I'm gonna take all of this chocolate and get it into my mixing bowl. Onto the mixing machine. And then we start to add in our 12 ounces of butter. Could actually turn the machine on to a low speed. You'll see that the buttercream will start to get a really wonderful, might even get a lighter consistency, a lighter color to it. And this is what's gonna give our buttercream a really nice rich flavor, rich consistency on the palate. It's also going to allow us to pipe the buttercream to go onto some cakes or cupcakes. So I still have a little bit of butter on the edge of my bowl, that's fine. I've got the majority of it really well incorporated. And you can see how it has a really nice, creamy, smooth consistency to it. You can also see the way that it hangs from the spatula in a really nice long drip, and it also mounds really, uh, uh, fairly good height. Uh, it's really wonderful for uh, frosting um, a cake or a cupcake. So my chocolate buttercream frosting is finished. I have taken it from the mixing bowl and put it into a pastry bag or a piping bag with a star tip. A video of which how to fill this you can check out elsewhere. And what I love to do with this chocolate buttercream frosting on Valentine's Day is decorate something like a devil's food cupcake. You can check out that video elsewhere as, as well. You can hold the bag at about a 45 degree angle. Start to pipe out a nice rosette. I'm gonna have to hold on to that. I'm gonna lift up the bag and let the rosette come on down like that. And come on over to the other side. In fact, I could even spin this guy around and have a little asymmetrical look here. And then we're gonna finish it off with a, a little decor. I'm gonna sprinkle some of those on top and let the buttercream get them to stick. And that is a wonderful use for our chocolate buttercream frosting. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click other links on the site to find other recipes. Also be sure to subscribe so you can see other treats that I'll be baking. If you can't find something that interests you, go ahead and send an email to requests at mahalo.com. See you soon.